Commission's consideration of the outcome of the complaint filed in the request for a commission investigation into smart meters in docket number 2011-262. The complainants in this 10-person complaint appealed the Commission's August 31, 2011 order and challenged various other commission orders. The complainants appealed to the law court raised what I would categorize as four general um, issues in categories that are health and safety, privacy, property rights, and constitutionally oriented. The law court vacated the commission's dismissal of the health and safety claims as to central main power and remanded those to the commission for further proceedings. The law court observed that the commission considered the health and safety issues without ruling on them. We will proceed now to further consider and resolve the issue after due additional process and consideration. Proceeding forward, I propose that the Commission issue a notice of investigation on the health and safety issue and that we ask the Commission staff to name Central Maine Power as the mandatory party with the original complainants and to open the proceeding to additional requests to intervene. My name is Bruce McLaughlin. I'm here at the Public Utility Commission in Augusta, Maine. I am the attorney representing the complainants in the smart meter case that was just decided by the main law court. The court uh, determined that the PUC has failed to adequately address health and safety issues in its uh, consideration of smart meter technology and has now ordered the commission to do an investigation of smart meters with respect to the health and safety concerns that people have about smart meters. The commission met this morning briefly just to inform the public that they will in fact go ahead and hold an investigation. Uh, basically that was all they said. It took about five minutes for the Commission's meeting. Now the process will uh, move forward with uh, the Commission's staff issuing a notice of investigation that will put in writing uh, the commitment of the Commission to investigate the health and safety and that will begin the process. That will be followed by a number of meetings starting with a conference of the parties where the parties will get together with the PUC staff to talk about what process will be needed, how many <coughs> witnesses are likely to be called and, and, and that sort of thing. That will inform the Commission uh, uh, about how to develop a schedule moving forward. So I would encourage That's people to contact Ed Friedman uh, if there are people who want to intervene in the case, uh, they should contact the PUC and, and uh, see about intervening, and that would allow them to participate. If people want to uh, be witnesses, if they have a story to tell about their exposure to RF uh, radiation uh, or other problems that they might have had with smart meters, I encourage them to contact Ed and, and put your stories in writing so that we can develop written testimony. So my name is Ed, Ed Friedman and I'm the lead plaintiff in a 10-person in a complaint brought before the Maine Public Utilities Commission. We actually had 19 people bring the complaint. 10 is the minimum required for that. Um, we brought a complaint because we were unhappy with multiple aspects of uh, a very, very rapid deployment of so-called smart meters. We like to call them dumb meters, digital utility meters. So while today's, while today's deliberations were extremely short, they were very important and in fact probably set a precedent in that this is probably the first time a Public Utilities Commission has agreed to move forward with health and safety uh, investigations on smart meters.